had a really useful hour with a friend of mine and fellow speaker, uh, Jack Milner, who is best known for injecting comedy and humour into speeches and presentations. In fact, that's what he does, stand up and deliver is his his business and he works with speakers to help them find their funny and we were on a um a program a speaking program last year literally a year ago in fact i think it was september where it started and there was a group of about i think 10 of us on this course and um i put up in the the whatsapp groups we kind of kept this kept that little group going for the last uh, year or so a uh, basically an idea about doing a little mastermind session at some point in September and this was probably back back in July anyway Jack was anyone who I think probably saw it I think others might be interested in doing it as well but he was anyone who saw it and responded so we ended up with a session my idea was that we spent an hour or so depending on how many were there looking at you know each bringing a particular challenge or problem to the table and then using the uh, collective resources of those others who were there to look at what could be done to overcome those challenges and for me what I wanted some help and I guess in some ways accountability with as well was creating a showreel uh, and a showreel is really just a short video a couple of three minutes maximum where you're essentially it's like a like a trailer like an advert if you will for your speaking business so it'd be some clips of me speaking a little bit of music some narration over the top just talking about what I do some quotes some testimonials from people who I've worked with in the past and the impact that it's had um something that I mean they're really common most speakers have them and Jack was great he was asking me questions like why do I want it why do I think it's important why I haven't done it yet what difference would it make when I have got it done some really good coaching questions And um, I came away from the session feeling like, you know what, I know now what I need to do. And to be honest, I probably knew that anyway. I mean, he didn't go through any of the, right, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this. Um, But it's like just by talking it through and even by talking it through now, I'm thinking like this is really easy to do. Like I know exactly what I got to do. I know what I got to gather together and what I wanted to say and to do. And now I have this accountability and someone who's going to check up on me in a month or so's time and say, George, how have you got on? So I've got a little plan and I've got a, a deadline to complete. Actually, I said by the end of October. So I've got six weeks or so, seven weeks to to get this done. Um, so that was really useful. And we did also talk about some of Jack's challenges as well, some of the particular projects he's working on. And um, I, I like to think that I maybe added some value and some help there as well. But these kind of masterminding is so useful so valuable to have people around you who you can um call on for support and for help uh, i think that's true whether you're you know in a professional context or personal but masterminding especially for work stuff is really useful and and actually i sort of although that was that was definitely a 50 50 session i certainly paid that forwards i think with uh, another friend of mine uh, dan keely who i have done a podcast with in the past he's a wonderful speaker and he's preparing for a tedx in seven oaks in kent on saturday next week and he just pinged out an email uh, a whatsapp to a few people this morning saying hey look guys i really like to practice this talk it's 18 minutes in front of a live audience, I'd be Zoom. If anybody's around at 1 p.m., could you come along and just watch just to be there and then maybe give me some feedback? And, you know, I checked my diary. I just had a meeting moved. So I thought, you know what? Yes, I'm absolutely there. Um, and I watched Dan's talk and it was just amazing. Really good. Very similar, actually, in terms of the story to what he'd shared with me on our podcast chat. But listening to how he's crafted it into a TEDx, it really did make me think, actually yeah that's another level like what he's created there and i know this is really i know he spent a lot of time on this uh, i know it's it's kind of next level stuff for him as well um but it was it was just inspiring not just the great story but also his the way he's put it together the way he's um i mean it was a memorized speech but it sounded very very natural and conversational which i know is what he was the note that he was aiming for and uh, it has made me think, actually, in terms of challenging myself and stepping out of my comfort zone and taking myself up to the next level. I'm thinking, I think I talked about this a few years ago, TED, TEDx is, is probably something that is um, is also going to be on 
my horizons for 2022 as well. So I'm not doing anything with that right now, but I might just start in exploring what TED Talks, TED events are coming up in 2022 and what their deadlines are for applications. So, so that was great. And I was able to give him some, um, some of my kind of feedback and thoughts, although I did say don't change too much, if anything at all, at this stage, because it's, it's just going to be, you know, I could give you some feedback and it'll be different. It wouldn't necessarily be better. Um, but um, hopefully even that sort of feedback was of use. Anyway, lots going on there. Um, tomorrow morning, and the other big thing I've been doing today is prepping for this at six o'clock in the morning. I've got my live session to 85 14 and 15 year olds in in shanghai <laughs> and, um i'm a little nervous about this one but excited at the same time i think that's the best way to be uh nervous and excited so i I've, I've got a i think a pretty good session i think the thing that's making me feel most nervous two things first of all is that the language will my messages um and let's be frank my um kind of sense of humor and the way i'm I present will that translate um, i'm hoping that it will i think it will i think their grasp of english is pretty good probably better than mine and uh, the second thing is just the timing i need to make sure that i'm not going over because it's a lesson in the school day and i cannot go over but i equally can't be too short either so it timing is going to be critical and um, I've got a couple of things in there that could go a little bit longer, could go a little bit shorter. So I'm going to, that's that's a skill that I will be calling upon big time tomorrow morning. Um, I just have to make sure I'm up plenty early enough to be properly awake and energized, ready for a 6 a.m. kickoff, which is about one o'clock, one o'clock in the morning for that, uh, in the afternoon, sorry, one o'clock in the afternoon for them. So uh, yeah, it's going to be, going to be awesome, going to be great fun. Anyway, there's my check-in and update for the day, as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and check back in again tomorrow, and I'll tell you how it went. Bye for now.